welcome back to Terrell County's Chair Yoga. I am Stephanie and I am teaching this ninth class, which is also the last class in our series. I'm glad you're here today. All right. Today we're going to focus on strengthening our arms and our legs. As we usually do, we're going to start with our upper body and then transition into exercises for our lower body. All right? And as always, please wear comfortable clothes, something you can move around in comfortably. Take your shoes off if you're able. Make sure your chair is nice and solid and um, it's not gonna roll out from under you. And um, also be sure to have some room around you so you can move your arms and do the exercises without banging into anything. Um, on my right here, I have selected a number of books in our library that are um, available to be checked out. And they're all about stretching or yoga. And they're great books. Um, I refer to them periodically as well. And um, I just wanted to let you know that they're a resource for you here at the library. So come on in and check them out. All right. If you haven't been here a while, we can update your library card with no problem at all. So um, please try coming in sometime. Okay, we do ask that you wear a mask. Okay. Um, and as, as in our last class, we are going to incorporate hand weights into a few of our exercises today. I am using these two pound hand weights. You can buy them at Dollar General or Walmart, or you can order them online. They're pretty cheap. And they really do help build your muscle mass and um, your bone mass as well. And as we age, that's very important to keep those two things strong, those two parts of your body strong. Okay? And the reason why we're doing yoga is because yoga is all about balance. Um, what you do to one side of your body, you should do to the other to keep it nicely balanced. And the more balanced you are, the less likely you are to have injuries and to fall. Um, so I know that's a very important factor for older people is um, fear of falling. So the stronger you are, the more balanced and coordinated you become, the less likely you are to fall. Okay. Okay, we're going to begin today's class by taking three cleansing breaths. A nice long inhale and then an even longer, slower exhale. All right, let's begin. Inhale and exhale and inhale nice and long fill up your lungs and then a nice long slow exhale all the way from your gut let all of that air come out okay and then one more inhale and then a nice long slow exhale all right now we are ready to begin Let's be sure that you're sitting in the center of your seat with your toes pointing forward and you're looking straight ahead. Our first exercise that we're going to do today is called upward and downward neck stretch. Okay, it's just as it sounds. So what you're going to do is sit in mountain pose with your shoulders relaxed and you're going to slowly look up towards the ceiling, gaze up at the ceiling, Hold that pose, and then on the inhale, and then on the exhale, you're going to lower your chin to your chest, as close to your chest as you can get. All right? And we're going to do six of these, a set of six. All right, let's begin. Inhale, look up, hold it, and then exhale, slowly we lower down. That's one. Look up and exhale, lower down. That's two. Inhale, look up. Look up at the ceiling. 
Exhale, lower your chin. That's three. Inhale, looking up. And then lower. And then raise your head up. And then lower. And we'll do one more. Inhale, look up. And then exhale, lower your head to your chest. All right, very good. It's really raining outside right now, so if you hear some background sound, um, that's what's going on. Okay, now we're going to do neck turns. All right, and we're gonna do a set of five. So on the inhale, you're gonna turn your head. On the exhale, you're gonna bring it back to center. And the inhale, turn, exhale, center. All right, let's do this five times. Please begin. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Very good. Now we're going to do side neck bends and we're going to do a set of five. And we're going to lower, pretend like you're trying to touch your ear to your shoulder. On the inhale and exhale, you lift your head. And we do that on each side. Okay, let's begin. That's two. So our next exercise is extended arms with bent elbows, all right? So we're going to extend our arms out in front of us, point our fingers straight ahead, okay? And we're going to bring our forearms back towards us, and then we're going to bring our arms back down like so. So it's just this exercise here. It really works your biceps and your triceps, okay? And we're gonna do this eight times. If you would like to incorporate your weights into this exercise, you may, okay? If you can't do this eight times, you could just do it um, once or twice. Whatever feels comfortable to you. If you are experiencing pain while doing this exercise, please stop, okay? So I'm gonna do this eight times holding on to my hand weights. All right, so we'll inhale and then exhale. Please begin. That's two. To your seat and put your weights down on the floor. Now we're going to do shoulder shrugs. We've done this exercise before. Just raise your shoulders up, an exaggerated lift. Have them try to touch your earlobes and then gently lower back down. And we'll do this five times. Please begin. One more, makes five. Very good. 
Our next exercise is called hands on shoulders rolls. And this is how it's done. You extend your arms out in front of you, put your fingers on your shoulders, and then we're going to roll our shoulders around in circles. Okay? Like so. And then we're going to do outer rolls. All right? And we're going to do eight. So let's do them inner or forward eight times, breathing normally, and then outward eight times. Again, if this exercise causes you pain, then please stop. Okay? All right. So let's begin. Hands on shoulders, and then eight times. One, two, breathe normally, please. Three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight. And then now outward. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, and eight. Very good. Gently lower your arms down. Great. I need to shake out my arms, so how about you do the same thing? So if you'd like to get some water, please have some before, after, and during our exercises. Our next exercise is called wrist and hand stretch, which means you put your hands and your arms out in front of you, and you're going to lift your hands up so they're pointing towards the ceiling, and then you're going to lower them down so they're pointing towards the floor. Okay, so you're just, we're going to start like this. We're going to lift and then lower, and that makes one. Okay, and we're going to do this 10 times. Okay, so breathe normally and begin. One, lift and lower. Two, lift and lower. Three, lift and lower. Four, and if you want to spread your fingers out, that would be great too. Five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten. Very good. Gently lower your arms back to your seat. Shake your arms out if you need to. Yeah, get those muscles loosened up a bit. Now we're going to do wrist circles. So we're going to raise our arms once again. So we're working our arm muscles really good today. And we're simply going to go in circles. 10 times in one direction and then 10 times in the opposite direction, okay? Um, if you can spread your fingers and wiggle your fingers while you're doing it, that brings extra motion into your hands and it helps with arthritis and it helps get the blood flowing. So it's just an extra step to take that's very beneficial. All right, let's begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Opposite direction. One, two, three. Wiggle your fingers if you remember to. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very good. I'm going to have a sip of water now. And this exercise is called finger squeezes. So we're going to just squeeze and open, squeeze and open, just like we've done with our toes, and we will do with our toes in a few minutes. We're just going to open our fingers, spread them, and then squeeze them tight, shut. All right? We're going to do this 20 times, if you're comfortable with doing it that many. Otherwise, just do 10 or 5 but try to push yourself maybe to 10 if it does not cause you pain. I'm going to say I've done 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Very good. Lower your arms and shake them out. Now we're going to work on our lower body. We've given our upper body a really good workout today. Okay, our next exercise is called knee swings. 
We've done this one before. You clasp your hands under your right knee and you swing out your leg forward and then swing it backward. If you need to move forward on your seat, go ahead. Um, you want to make sure you stay in your seat while you do this. You don't topple over. Okay? So try to keep your balance. All right, let's do this 10 times on each leg. Please begin. And breathe normally. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then gently lower that leg, pick up your opposite leg, and do the same thing. One, and two, and three, and four, and five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very good. Lower your leg. Okay, now we're going to do single knee raises. Please hold on to the edge of your seat or the side of your seat, the sides, so that you don't topple. And lift your right knee ten times. And then when you're done, lift your left knee ten times. Keep the opposite foot on the floor solidly. All right, please begin. One and two, just breathe normally. Three, four, five and six, seven, eight, nine and ten. Very good. Now the opposite leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very nice. Next we're going to do heel raises. So please hold on to the sides of your seat and we're going to simply just lift our heels together and we'll do this ten times. Please begin. Two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very good. All right, now we're going to do toe raises, the opposite. So now we're working the top portions of our feet and on our calf muscles. I can really feel it here. It feels really good. So we're building strength. Let's do this ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very good. Our next exercise is called toe squeeze and spread. Squeeze and spread. Okay, we're going to do this ten times. And we did this with our fingers earlier. So let's begin. Squeeze, spread, squeeze, spread, squeeze, spread. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very nice. Gently lower. Our next exercise is single point and flex. Point, flex, point, flex. You can feel this exercise in all your leg muscles and your feet muscles as well. And we're going to do this ten times to this leg and then ten times to this one. All right, please begin. One, two, three, four. Hold on to the sides of your seat. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Gently lower. Raise your left leg. Point and flex. One, two, three, four. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Gently lower. Very nice. Now we're going to do single ankle circles. So we're going to lift our right leg. We're going to turn our foot in a circle. So we're working our ankles here. And again, if this causes you pain, then please just stop. We'll do this ten times 
counterclockwise, 10 times counterclockwise to each leg, okay? All right, let's begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And again, hold on to the sides of your seat for support. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Lift your left leg, and we'll do the same. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Opposite direction. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Very good. And lower, gently. For this next exercise, we're gonna lift our weights and we're just going to raise our arms up, holding onto our weights. We're gonna do this 10 times, five on each side. If you don't have weights, then simply just put your hands up by your shoulders and push up, like you're pushing something up towards the ceiling, okay, with the palm of your hand. All right, so I'm gonna grab my hand weights, my handy hand weights, and I'm gonna lift. All right, so let's begin a total of 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Very good. If you wanna keep going, please go right ahead. If you wanna stop there, then please stop there. All right, when you are done, Gently put your weights back down on the floor and out of your way. Okay. For our second to the last exercise, it's our everything up exercise. And normally we just lift everything up and look up at the ceiling and then gently lower everything down in very controlled, slow motions. Today, if you have your hand weights and you'd like to incorporate them into this exercise, you may but have to hold on nice and tight so you don't drop them, and you lift everything up, just like you did before, and then gently lower everything down in a controlled fashion. All right? Let's do this five times with the last lift um, held for the count of two. Okay, please begin. And exhale on the lower, all right? Inhale on the lift. Inhale and exhale nice and slow good that's two inhale exhale on three inhale exhale and then last one let's try to hold it for the count of two up in the air here we go and lower exhale everything down very good. Okay, great. So we've come to our last pose of the day, our last exercise of the class, and this is our deep relaxation exercise. This exercise is quite simple, but it's still very important. It allows our body to absorb all the benefits of the yoga exercises we were just doing. Um, so it's, it's like taking a rest, and it allows your body to absorb everything we've just done, okay? And it allows your mind to relax. And once we come out, once we, after we close our eyes and we come out of this pose a minute later, we're feeling nice and relaxed, okay? I will chime us in and then chime us out. And when your eyes are closed and your body is just nice and relaxed, just try to clear your mind push all your thoughts out and just try to see colors in your mind if you can. Okay, let's begin.
So let's sit up nice and straight and tall. You should be feeling really nice right now. Please check in with yourself to see how you're feeling. And try to take this good feeling that you have in your body and your mind with you throughout the rest of your day and into your daily life. This yoga routine is very simple to do from home. So you can make this a habit and um, try to do this routine maybe three or four, five times a week if you can. And um, if you have the weights, make sure you use the weights too, a couple of those days at least. All right. So I would like to thank you for being here today, our last chair yoga class with Turo County Public Library. Um, please try to come in sometime and see us. We are happy to have you all. And um, this class has meant a, meant a lot to me, so I am happy to have done this class. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And I would like to say namaste to all of you. The light in me honors the light in you. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Goodbye, Turo County.